Cause I know, I know, I know what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling Let me help you out I have a new apartment I went ahead and got it to make sure I would have something when I came here in two weeks. I love this. Look at these cabinets. Yeah, I have, it's very small, but it's okay. I have, you know, a hallway, as you can see there, two bedrooms. This is going to be my office. And I'm going to have everything set up to shoot videos in here and to do my regular day job work as well. And there's two bathrooms. So when I have company, there's another bathroom. We go down the hall and I think, yes, washer and dryer love it and then um oh what's in here what is this oh light bulb things okay i like these i like that and then just kind of a standard shower bathtub thing. My cl main closet and this will be my room. It's very echoey of course. I don't have uh, I don't have everything set up. today I will be actually living in my new apartment and today I have a discard and donate company coming by the apartment to take things to discard and donate that I do not want to take with me. Um, I have all that set up in the living room kitchen area and before they get here Anyway, there are a few things here in my closet that I gotta sort through and decide what I'm gonna do with it. Um, there's this thing I've never used. And it has not helped me. Um, I might keep it anyway. What is this? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. This came with something I ordered. I don't even remember what that was. Oh, there's extra fittings. We'll, we'll keep the extra fittings. What is that? What is this? I don't, I don't think I need this. So anyway, I thought while I'm doing this, I will go through and, yeah, I don't think I need that. Um, I thought I would kind of talk about what this week has been like. So for one, right now, I'm a little... Uh, I'm a little bit low on finances 
because I'm paying for two places to live right now. I paid two rents. I'm supposed to be getting reimbursed um, for my relocation charges and I'm waiting on that to come through to help me to help ease things a little bit. Um, that's been the roughest part, I think. I need this. I do not need that. And you know what? This. Okay. All right. Any of you, I mean, I got a million of these kinds of things. I never know if I should keep it or not. I'm going to put it over here. Think about it. I mean, I have a million of them, so, and I don't even know if some of this stuff even goes to anything I have. It looks like it would. Oh, definitely don't want that. I'm going to keep the zip ties. You never know when you need a zip tie. Oh, I never use this glue gun. I got it for something, and I'm not sure it helped with that years ago, so. Um, anyway, things are getting real. You know, it's it's been hard to, for it to get real because, you know, I don't have to pack because my relocation service is going to do a full, oops, wrong way, uh, a full packing deal, and so they're going to pack what little I have. I don't have that much. And they're going to, I might want to keep that. Um, I don't want these. Um, I don't know that this has ever really helped me, but I'll keep it. There's things that you never know, but this is going away. Sorry. I just... You know, it hasn't really been, you know, I got the apartment and everything, and that was great to finally have that done. And that was a whole deal. Let me tell you about that deal. So, there was this lady who worked there and who doesn't work there anymore, who told me that my place was being... You know, that I could come look at my place. There was no... She didn't fully explain things. She said she could hold it for 14 days. She said that... And I explained to her, you know, whenever she sent me the information, I was like, okay. You know, and I didn't... I guess that's not going to fit in there. Um, I didn't... You know, it had the dates on there, but I thought, well, I'm not moving in yet. I haven't signed the lease. You know, and she didn't say, oh, by the way, we'll hold it for you for this long, but really, your lease starts on this day before you even get here, and uh, you're going to have to, you know, start paying then. She didn't, she didn't say that. She didn't explain any of that. Um, and I'm not used to things working that way. Um, of course, I've never had a place hold a place for me before. I've always, when I came here, I just said, okay, I want this place. And, you know, they asked me when I'm moving in. I told them and then I signed the lease for that day. Nothing ahead of time. Um, but, you know, the way things are right now, people... You know, it's hard to get a place, you know, like you want, and you can't just wait till the last minute. So it's a little different than the last time I did this, or even any other time that I've moved. Um, it's always been that way. When are you moving in? Okay. And, you know, but I never had a place hold anything for me or anything. So um, and it's not like I could get there right away and look at it. I had to get a flight and blah, blah, blah to even get there. So 
Um, and last time I moved, I just took a week off, came here, stayed in a hotel, looked at apartments, chose one, and was here. This time I, I did my search ahead of time so I'd have a place to move into once I got there. And, and I think that's the difference. But anyway, it wasn't well explained. And so, of course, she doesn't work there anymore. And even if she did, I still think I would have had to do what I had to do just because she didn't explain it well. And so, anyway, I had, I had to pay prorated rent for September if I wanted September, I guess, 21st or 22nd. Um, I mean, I didn't get to see the place till September 22nd. I was a little bummed about it, but I still wanted the place and they're still nice. And I think it was just poorly communicated by somebody who didn't care, uh, honestly. Cause she had, apparently they had to do, they had to fix a lot of her stuff. She just turned in her keys one day and uh, that was it. She didn't work there anymore. And so, uh, anyway. But you know, I try to be like a reasonable person and stuff. And, uh, and I understand. So, and you know, I just, the other options were about the same. So I just went with what I'd already paid an application fee for and all of that, you know. I had already invested a little bit of money into it. Um, I didn't want to pay multiple application fees. I don't think I would be reimbursed for all of them. Um, so that's my reasoning there. Oh gosh, this is... Oh, everything's everywhere. All right, that's trash. Let's see, they're going to be here in 45 minutes. So I have a little time. So there's that story, but that's all worked out. I just need some money back to kind of ease the pain. I feel better about the crap that's in here. So this weekend, I am sorting through things. I am trying to get all this done. And uh, a week from today, I'll be in my new place. I will be camping out in my new place because uh, the movers won't have my stuff. I keep going the wrong direction. The movers uh, won't have my stuff there for a week or two, uh, maybe less, but they're not promising unless they're saying, you know, it could be October 21st. So I could be on an air mattress and using just a couple of dishes and a couple of towels and having to wash them, you know, frequently uh, for a couple of weeks. But that's okay. It's totally fine. You know, it starts with the donation people and then midweek they're taking my car, they're taking... And the movers are coming in and taking the rest of my stuff. Um, I'll stay at a hotel for a couple of nights uh, here in Cincinnati before taking off. Because um, I still need to be here until the 7th. So anyway, I'm going to go. This is, I've just kind of been rambling. I'm really excited about the changes. Somebody else in the making first. She's just got to stop all the faking. And she But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever